Howdy, I'm Lee Wilson, and this is TGO Wyoming on the move. My commute to work generally takes about 8 to 10 minutes to and from, you know. So what I'm going to do here for the foreseeable future is I'm going to try out something a little new for the vlog style stuff. I've got my GoPro hanging in its suction cup mount right here on the dash, and I'm going to take this opportunity to talk to you guys about current events, whatever's on my mind. And it's just a good way to, to open up and have a discussion here. And that's kind of what I want to start out with first is, is discussion, a dialogue, and uh, just generally talking to people. We're very polarized as a nation, right? We have this, uh, we fall into this lie of dichotomy. You know, you're either red or blue or, you know, black or white. There's either or, all or nothing. You know, it's this is just a, a big lie. It's a huge fallacy that has been shoved down our throats. And it's time to, to get rid of that as a people, as a nation. And how do we do that? Well, we start out by having a conversation. And, you know, I mean, opening up a dialogue has been a really big catchphrase lately in politics. And you know what? I don't entirely disagree with it, but I want constructive dialogue. And I think that's what we need. As, as a nation is we need a constructive dialogue. So how do we do that? Well, start by talking to somebody that has a different view than you do. You know, maybe it's your sister-in-law who is stoutly and adamantly anti-gun or pro-Hillary or pro-Trump or pro-anything that you don't necessarily agree with. So, you know, and have a logical, good discussion with them. So the key to that is, is to keep your emotions out of it. Uh, a lot of arguments these days are not actually arguments. They're just emotional battles, battles of the will. And a key to having a good discussion and a good true argument is to... Well, pay attention to traffic, but... It's to keep an open mind. To understand that another person should be presenting their case and then you can present your counterpoint go back to an actual real discussion and let them talk and then hear them actually listen to what they have to say and consider it just because it doesn't match up with what you believe or your narrative doesn't mean they're wrong and it might mean they're wrong but it doesn't necessarily mean it you might be wrong but nobody ever wants to believe they're wrong so set your pride aside and actually have a real legitimate discussion with somebody and you know, take their side into consideration. You know, when it boils right down to it, we're not all that different. I mean, in general, people want the same things. You know, we all want to be left alone, to be prosperous, and to be able to live our own lives. Um, and maybe that's a lie, because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that want somebody to take care of them. But, you know, given the opportunity, any free man or woman would want to be left alone to live their life as they see fit. Showing my colors as a libertarian here, but you know, in general, we can all find something to relate to somebody else with. Be that you know, a hobby or an activity, uh, a book, a piece of music, but find a way to relate to somebody and then open up into a discussion. Just remember that the person that you're arguing with is another human being, just like you. We all bleed red, we all die. That's pretty much what it boils down to. So, if we can discuss things logically and unemotionally, not dispassionately, but unemotionally, remove that and think about logic first. I think we can make great headway in really solidifying as a nation because we are divided. The media has divided us, the government has divided us, and you know, it's kind of a an old worn out saying, but united we stand, divided we fall. And it's time for us to stand together as a nation. And, and really talk to each other and really understand and have a little bit of compassion. And, <clears throat> you know, you don't have to go along with things you don't agree with. But other people should respect that, too. And just, you know, as vice versa, you should respect other people's opinions Do not go along with what you believe. That's what makes a free country. And that's what once made this, this country great. So, but we can do it again. We can be that way. We can be independent individuals who are thinking and able to do as we please as long as we're not infringing on anybody else's liberties. So, have a discussion. Pick somebody that has a different viewpoint and give it a shot because it really is worth it. It broadens not only your horizons, but it broadens theirs as well, hopefully. So, 
that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a, a short little intro video. I am going to be doing this regularly on either my drive to or home from work. Uh, today would be a drive home from work. So I hope you'd enjoy it, and we'll see where this discussion goes. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, make sure to throw them in a comment on the video box below. And as always, stay safe, shoot straight, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.